Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Omnifactory. And in the last episode, I rage quit because <laughs> the, um, the, the magma crucible was doing my head in. But I went back in, I got it set up. So we have um, our ender tank. It's here, it's pulling magma into the magmatic dynamo. Why are you... Um, had to insert only, and that is to extract only. So that should be working. The tank is full. Okay, I thought it was working. It might not be working. I don't know. I really don't know. But this is filling up slowly. I want to put in a data model, at least. Um, I've got my capacitor bank, but for some reason I can't get it to fill up. I don't know why. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, this is slowly... All right, are you not filling? Do we need to... I don't really want to go and find out what's wrong with it. But this tank is slowly going down. It's not... Um, information... Energy stored, none. It was working. Oh, I think I might have to go into the nether and see what's going on. Which is not what I plan to do. Where's my sword? There's my sword. I should sleep, but... But what? Let's live dangerously. Famous last words and all of that. Okay, where is... Let's just teleport down there. Ah, uh, magma dynamo. Right. Right, so that is... What did I just do? I don't know what I did. That is full. That is working. Should that be set to output then? I don't know. Maybe that should be set to output. This is working and it's on. All right, so we've changed that. Let's go back and see if that makes a difference. Uh, wrong doorway. We want this doorway. Right, last time I came through that door, I don't. Oh, I thought I had um, pressure plates there. Last time I came through that door, I got stuck. Okay. That's still draining. That's going down. I don't know why it's not. It's probably something really obvious and I should know. But I don't. OK, let's work on this anyway and I'll see if I can work it out. I'm not going to waste any more time with it. Right, so, um, provide your simulation chamber with RF power and pulsating polymer clay, then insert a dead data mod module of your choice. The simulation chamber will consume polymer clay and a decent amount of power to begin simulating mob kills. This will generate overworldian matter and may occasionally provide you with pristine matter. Overworldian matter can be eaten to gain experience or can be combined with other materials to obtain drops from overworld mobs. With these drops, you can then combine data, create data modules for other mod types as well. Okay, so they want overworldian matter. All right, so we have a blank data model. Um, do I have it in my inventory? No, I don't. 
Please tell me I put it in. Let's see, there is our blank data model. Alright, you can alright, go back. This is what we want. You can combine various items with a blank data module for a completed data mod data model that you can run inside the simulation chamber. Okay, so data mods. All right, so zombie, hold shift. All right, so zombie and rotten. F so blank data and zombie will give you rotten flesh. We've got skelly. We've got creep. Oh, creepers. Gunpowder and oh, okay. So at the moment, the own. Oh, we can do zombie. We can do um skeleton. We can't do spider. We can do slime. We can't do witch. We can't do blaze. Oh, they have a ghast one as well. That's nice. Uh, with a skeleton. All right. So some. It's just. What is that? Oh, the Ender Dragon. That's interesting. Is that pristine? Oh, extraterrestrial matter. Okay. Guardian and Thermal Elemental. Okay. So we can do zombie, skellies, slimes. What was the other one? Zombie, skellies, or slimes. Right. What do we have? Oh, uh, we could do a zombie. Or skellies. We found zombies first. We'll do that. So you put that and that together. That gives us a zombie data model. And then it said to um, pulsating polymer clay. All right. We probably should have done the skellies to get the um. Oh, never mind. Can you change it? I wonder. You probably can't change it once you've done it. Because rotten flesh. No. All right. Doesn't matter. We've done it. It's fine. Right, so the pulsating clay, you need the dust and a block of clay. Where did I shift my clay to? There you go. And I think you put them in the alloy smelter. Right, pulse polymer. Um, yes, in the alloy smelter. Ah, uh, clay and that. Oh, you get four from that. Okay, that's cool. Oh, could I have done? Now, I don't think I would have been able to have done do a one for one. No, I probably wouldn't have been able to do a one for one because, yeah, it's not economical. All right, so it says you got the data model. Cannot begin missing polymer medium. Okay. Uh, launch in runtime, pristine charge is 5%. Uh, run engaged enemy. All right. Launch in runtime. Iteration 2 started. Loading model from chip memory. Assessing threat level. Engaged enemy, pristine procurement failed. Processing results. Oh, but we got um, overworldian matter though. Okay, so you'll always get overworldian matter. Pristine, you're not going to get. Probably because our data model, it's not very high. Because you can get different levels. Because you go from from basic, you, no, you go up to basic, and then from basic you can go all the way to 
Supreme or something like that. Cannot begin simulation. Okay. All right, that's not bad. This is probably totally empty now. Yes, it is. That's extract. No, that's insert. We want to extract from that. I don't know. I don't know why it's not working. Redstone mode is always active. Okay, that works. Does that mean it was turned off the entire time? That's going up. Okay. I don't know why that should make a difference, but it did. All right. I'm not complaining. And we did get a ding. All right. Omni pennies. So from there, we can make different mobs. Spider, Skelly, Guardian, Thermal. For that, we need Pyrothium, Cryrothium, Aerothium, Petrothium. How do we get any of these? Where do we find a Blizz? Loot Fabricator. Deep Mob Learning. But... Okay, um... Alright, there's no rush to get all of these done and leveled up, but they do provide a good source of some of the basic resources in exchange for RF. Look at what the pristine matter for each mob provides and let the ones you're interested in run when you have extra power and are doing something else. Okay. I have to admit, um, deep mob learning it's useful, but to me it's scary, because, I don't know, it's just scary. It's probably not, it's probably very, it's, it looks difficult, I think that's the problem. It looks difficult and you're like, uh So yeah, so let's see what else we can make from that. We can do, can we do the creeper? We can do the skelly. Blank data model. All right, so we need pulsating mesh. How do you make pulsating dust, uranite dust? Do we have any uranite dust? We're going to need a lot of pulsating. Is that uranite? Yeah. All right, let's take two stacks of U. And we need to put them where? Need to put them in the smeltery, don't we? Yes. All right, well, let's put you in here. Um, get you going. Okay, it's one for one. For a minute, I thought it wasn't. I was about to start get. I was about to get very upset. Right, let's put all of this stuff away. I was wondering, can you daisy chain these together? So you have like a whole set of them rather than, I don't know, just, it was just a thought. I will have to work on that at some point. All right, gold, iron, let's keep an eye on our chest. All right. And let's see, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Right, so to make a blank data model, we need electrical steel plates, fine gold wire, uh, refined circuit, and the mesh. So, um, the mesh, I think we need four of these we need some gold did I have any gold wire in here I think I might have had copper wire oh no I've got fine gold wire that's even better all right um electrical steel plates 
All right, how many do I need? I've forgotten. Oh yeah, because blaze data model and blank data model. Uh, four electrical steel plates, three fine wires, and a circuit. This is filling up slowly. I we really I need to work out what's going on with this, but I will. Right, and then we can combine. Did I put back the? Must put back the bone. Do I have bones in here? Yes, I do. Okay, that would make sense. Put that in there, and we got the skeleton model. Yeah, right. Not going to do anything else. But with that, oh, the loot. Fa oh, after we've done that, we can get the loot fabricator. Oh no, we can do that now. Putting pristine matter in the loot fabricator will allow you to obtain mob drops. All right, so I know for um, deep mob learning, you need. Oh, what is it called? You need something to put your data modules in. I don't know if I have one. And I can't remember what it's called. Which is very handy. And okay. Let's have a look. See, I am this is what we want. The deep learner. All right, two. Didn't we make this? No, we didn't. We need the scanner. Oh, I think I might have looked into this. I think I looked into it and then realized. Because the thing is, if we put the scanner in, do we get it back? And we haven't made emitters yet. Brass rods, that, that. We could probably do it. Do we have wrong direction? Do we have any brass rods? Do we have any brass, first of all? Brass is a compound, isn't it? How do you make brass? Uh, brass dust, three copper, and one zinc. We do not have zinc. Can we buy zinc? Oh, uh, I think I had looked at this and realized I couldn't do it. Yeah, it doesn't look like you can buy any zinc. I've probably got to to find it in the world. But how I'm supposed to find it, I don't know. All right. Zinc ore. Uh yeah, because usually when you click on that, it should show you whether it's buyable or not. Or unless... Um, Omnipennies. Omniquarters. That's not crafting. I want recipes. Okay, so you can get... Uh, uranium. Chicken cow but there must be a way to get zinc because if i was playing the um the block the void world i wouldn't be able to mine it so there's got to be a way to get it um green sapphire sapphire co cobalite cobalite and uh, that sheep hmm it's not showing up in any of those. That's not good. So how do I get zinc? Unless one of the other... 
unless one of the other ores you can combine or something. All right, zinc. Zinc ore. It doesn't, it doesn't look like zinc dust. You need a zinc ingot. Okay, so tetrahedrite. Tetrahedrite. That's a, that's one of these things, right? There's a red one. I've seen tetrahedrite. So, now that's redstone. Why do I think it's red? Is it that? No, cinnabar. No. I'm sure I've got that somewhere. If I do a search, tetra. Okay. Yes, it's red. It's definitely red. Do I not have? It doesn't look like I have any. What's up here? Ruby and cinnabar. Redstone. Alright, I think it I think tetrahedrite spawns where redstone spawns. And we have the huge redstone hall out there. Right. Right. Yeah, redstone hall. Redstone cinnabar, uranite, cinnabar. Urbanite, uranium, pitch blend, ruby. Bet you this is now going to turn me into a liar and it's like, nope, there's no tetrahedrite here. But I'm pretty sure. Ah, maybe not then. Maybe not. Right, let's light the sucker up because we can. Oh God. Where are you buddy? And I went and put back my bow, didn't I? That would have been the one time that the bow would have been perfect. Yeah, there's no tetrahed. Oh, where's he? Oh, he's over there, cool. There's no tetrahedrite in here. I knew it'd make me a liar. All right, well, that was a bit anticlimactic. All right, so Omni Nichols. Um, one, two, three, four. Four nickels. All right, where's our scanner? Put that down. I was pretty sure that's there. Um, monsters and range. We want block. No, but I have to. Shift click. I think that's what you need to do. Yes. So I had to click it. Right, there's nothing there with us. Oh, there is none. No. That's interesting. I thought... I know, right above us. Yeah, there's a big deposit above us. All right, well, let's start looking then. It was around there, right? Cinnabar. I don't know, it's a bit. There's nothing there. 
Is this not working? According to this, there's some right on right above us. Like right here. All right, well, let's go up. Unless it is. Yeah, this is not what you usually do. Don't use this is, you know, you don't usually mine straight up. But there you go. Right, let's try this again. It's still saying right here. That's interesting. Unless it's looking for something else other than... It might be looking for something else other than tetrahedrite. I don't know. Alright, let's torch this sucker up. Because, you know, stuff. And let's see, cinnabar, ruby, redstone... Yeah, I'm not seeing any... T I mean, we bought some, which is fine. But it's definitely not... It's definitely not here. Unless it's in this bit. Although this all looks like redstone. Alright, I'm not going to waste any more time with this because we bought some which is fine it says there's a big pocket there okay it's not necessarily there ah okay all right we're learning something about the scanner because it looked like it was above us but when i started moving it was moving with us so it's not necessarily above us so i will have to go and have a look at some point but not right now because it's the end of the episode so yeah it was a bit of a, a bit of a strange episode it wasn't um at least we didn't have to rage quit or anything else we did get the overworldly and ma oh crap we did get the overworldly and matter sorted and we um why am i doing this i could just teleport and go home we got <laughs> we got the overworldly and matter sorted we got um we got our power working so at least we got something done yeah now this is full this is working yep this is full so i guess we can have this um while we're doing something else where did we put our data models? That's the only thing about me clearing out my my inventory. Can we put in more than one data model? I don't think we can. Oh, we need polymer clay. Okay, well, I can do that in the background. And we need full stacks of that. So what was that? Unfired clay plate. Okay. And no. So I can have that running for a while. And then, um, yeah. But yeah, to get any further with deep mob learning, I'm going to have to make... I wonder if that's a... Is that a quest line, though? It doesn't look like it's a quest line. Because to level these up, you've got to use the... the display thing. The deep learner. 
and we need our scanner for that. So we can make, I think we can make the scanner. I'll have to, I'll have to do this off, offline. We can make the scanner because we got the, no, because we need to make the zinc. So if I crush half of the tetrahedrus, te tetrahedrite, if I crush half of that, see, it looks just like, that's that cinnabar, redstone, redstone, and ruby. Let's put these all down. That's the ruby. That's the cinnabar. Redstone. And the tetrahedrite. It's redstone but upside down. Now that is... That is annoying. Because the same as redstone but the... No, the pattern isn't upside down. It's the same pattern as redstone. It's it's the same pattern as redstone, so it looks just like redstone. Oh no, it's slightly different. No, it's the same. Well, that's annoying. So if I do a search... Yeah, it's found that. And it says there's that big block. I'm going to have to find where that big block is. Because it says there's a huge block there. So, um, so yeah. I'm going to have to do that then. But we have enough for now. So, thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.